Everybody, it's Matt DeWolf, editor in chief of Car Wash Magazine. We are here live in person in Burnsville, Minnesota today. We've got Jessica Zaswerski, who owns and operates the Bubble Bar and Car Wash, and she's going to share a little bit of her story with us. Jessica, thanks for having us. Well, thanks for stopping by, Matt. So it's freezing here. It, it is. That's <laughs> March in Minnesota. Yeah, welcome to Minnesota. You know, we like. I, I know that you moved here. You know, a little more than a decade ago. I moved here a little bit more than a decade ago, but we're still here. I know. What were we thinking? It, it grows on you, though, it, right? Yeah. The, the summers are beautiful, that's, they say. Yeah, that's how it goes. And you get to experience all four seasons. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, here's the, here's the good news, right? Like, this is great for washing. It is. We have been having a great start to 2022. It's been really exciting. And, you know, fortunately, every snowstorm we've had has happened overnight. <laughs> get yes. everyone's cars dirty yeah. and then come wash in the morning. <laughs> yeah, lay that salt down, get them nice and dirty. Exactly. Yeah. Love to see it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Well, okay, so, but you were not always a car washer. I was not. No, I spent um, the majority of my career up until now in corporate marketing, working at, you know, various companies. Okay. And, um, you know, really wanted to go out on my own. I come from a family of small business owners, and when I was, you know, first starting um, out my career, I thought, oh, working for a big company is great. I get a paycheck every two yeah. weeks, company-sponsored healthcare, all this great stuff. But, you know, as I got a little bit older, I think I realized that I had that entrepreneurial spirit and really wanted to, um, you know, grow my own business and also be part of the community in a way that I think only small business owners really can be. Okay, so let's talk about that a little bit because I think that that's super fascinating. And, and we had talked about this a little bit, uh, you and I off camera. Um, what's it been like for you coming into this industry coming from that kind of corporate America background? Like, what's that been like for you? 
it's, it's certainly an adjustment, and anyone who's done it, I'm sure, would, would say the same thing. But you know, for me, you know, I'm, I'm glad I have that experience, yeah. right? Um, it's given me a strong background in how to look at my business, and um, I'm a very analytical person. So, um, you know, understanding how to use the ICA, my Chamber of Commerce, other um, you know business owners, other people in my community for resources, and you know, to help me make informed decisions has been something that's been really important to me as I've you know kind of started on this venture. Yeah, because when you're when you're starting into this industry and you're starting into the business, you're all by yourself. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> it's a team, just you, right? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we, we've got great traffic going through today. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this specific location, then I want to come back to a little bit more of your corporate background because okay. I think that there's something folks will be really interested to, to yeah. hear about there. So this specific location, talk to us about the area we're in, how you kind of pick this spot. Yeah, so we're located in Burnsville, Minnesota. And, um, you know, when I started out searching for a site, you know, I obviously had, you know, traffic counts and demographics yeah. in mind, but um, I didn't really have a vision for where I wanted to be in the metro. And um, Actually, through a mutual friend, I found a broker that had this spot, and um, he said, I think it'd be perfect for a car wash, and he was right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, we don't have a ton of express washes in Minnesota, yeah. um, I think in comparison to other areas, and certainly in the south metro of the Twin Cities where we are, there really aren't any others. You know, there's more coming, but, yeah. you know, right now it's, you know, we're kind of the only game in town. And um, it's been really interesting trying to, you know, educate people coming through. Some are familiar, they've lived other places and they, you know, they kind of know what the deal is, but others, you know, don't understand, oh, you're going to stay in your car. Right, or, right. you know, a lot of times I get questions, well, if I get this wash, how long is it going to take for me to go through? I'm like, oh, they all take the same, you know, the same <laughs> amount of time. And so, you know, kind of helping people understand, like, we're just going to do the outside, the vacuums, they're awesome, they're self-serve for you to use, and, you know, making sure that we spend time interacting with those customers so that they get the full experience and they leave happy. Yeah, you know, I think what's really important to remember, and we talk about this a lot, is like, we got to make sure that we remember that while we are around this industry a lot, not everybody is, and so while we might feel like, hey, everybody knows what an express <laughs> exterior car wash is, it's been around forever, customers don't know. Right. And so talk to me a little bit about, um, maybe give me like one or two things that's been really helpful for you as you educate those customers on what this is like and what this thing is. Uh-huh, well, you know, people ask me, you know, okay, why is this, you know, better than what I'm gonna get at Holiday, right? Yeah. Um, and I always talk to them about, you know, we have the latest and greatest technology, closed cell phone brushes that are gonna be, you know, super gentle in your car. We have a belt, it's easier to get on and off the track, you know, versus a traditional system. Yeah. Um, and those vacuums, um, I think I totally underestimated how much people will love <laughs> the vacuums. Um, and, you know, we see that in our, in our reviews that people say, oh, their vacuums are amazing. And so, you know, we let them spend as much time as they want out there. And, you know, especially you got a beautiful summer day in Minnesota yeah. and, you know, you get people out there, you know, just, getting every nook and cranny clean. So, um, you know, that's been a big uh, selling point for customers as well. So, okay, okay. So what I heard you say, Jessica, was that it's really important that your vacuums suck. <laughs> they, that's, yeah. And, they, <laughs> and that's what my staff yeah. hears me say too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, that's so funny. Um, okay, so you, uh, you hit on another piece about this specific location I wanna talk about, uh, the belt, right? Mm -hmm. So, not only is it an express uh, location in an area where there's not a lot uh, of expresses, mm -hmm but it's a belt versus the conveyor chain that maybe they're used to at some of the washes uh -huh. they might go through. Talk about the belt, what that does for you, what that does for your customers. Uh -huh. Well, um, you know, to be honest, when I started building this site, I feel like belt technology was kind of just coming out as the latest and greatest thing. And so, you know, there's a decision to kind of go one direction or the other. And I decided that, you know, we were gonna be new for only so long yeah. and there were gonna be other people coming into the market. And so let's invest now. Um, and I. In particular, I have a friend who's a very nervous driver, and I thought about her and how I've been through car washes with her and how nervous she was. And I'm like, you know, if my friend Heather can get through this, like, I think I think we would be okay. And she came down on our opening day, and she's like, oh, that was really easy. I'm like, I made the right decision. <laughs> but, you know, um, I think it it's really reassuring to customers. And, you know, I know as someone who's, you know, washed my car in a traditional rail and chain system myself, like, you, you feel nervous about fitting fitting your car, you know, wheels in there. Um, so I think it's just a lot easier for customers to use. And then a benefit, you know, that we talked about earlier was we can wash dually trucks and yep. we're the only express wash in the area right now that can do that. And um, once the first one found out, then <laughs> they told all of their dually yeah. friends then <laughs> to come on by the bubble barn and wash, which has been great for us. 
us. And in the summertime, we get lots of cool sports cars in here because we can watch the really low riding vehicles oh, sure. as well. So they love to come through. So it's, you know, it's fun to see all those different types of cars. Yeah, the, the magic network of dually owners. <laughs> is that who, knew? Who, who knew? knew? <laughs> who knew? It's out there, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the other thing that I think is cool, and, and we've got footage of this, is that you can watch tow trucks. Yes, we can. So tell me about this this tow truck. How did that even like come to be? <laughs> well, the, you know, and you were asking me, was I nervous the first yeah. time he came through? And you know, he's paying for the wash, and I went running out, and I'm like, have you washed here before? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah. And my manager came out, and um, you know, he's like, oh yeah, we wash them all the time. You just got to turn up the top brushes, and he's got to lower the boom. And I'm like, this is making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Here's my investment right in now. my future, yeah. and it's all gonna come crashing <laughs> and down. And I stood there yeah. at the tunnel and just kind of watched it go through. <laughs> my heart was in my yeah. my chest, but. Um, He's got a couple trucks that he comes through all the time, and you know it's it's super cool. You know, first of all, to support other local business yeah. owners and kind of, you know, get to interact with them in that way. But it's also fun just to you know wash cool vehicles that other um, you know other washes can't because they don't have the you know the right type yeah. of system for that. Yeah, yeah, the belts do really open up some things for they you. They do. Um, so let's talk about uh, something else inside this tunnel, which is your digital signs. Uh huh. So we've got some behind me here, mm -hmm. and then we've got some inside the tunnel. Um, tell me about that. Love it or hate it? <laughs> <laughs> um, outside, I love it. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, having the sign, um, we have a video running, so it's kind of constantly moving. I think it catches the customer's eyes, allows them to kind of really look at and engage with what wash they mm -hmm. want to choose. And, you know, they're a little bit more knowledgeable even before we come out and greet them and talk to them about the washes, especially we're a new business. So, you know, they're not familiar with our wash packages. But inside the tunnel, um, not, you know, not so much. I yeah. think, you know, I don't notice it and I obviously wash my car, you know, here all the time, but you know, you're you're in the tunnel, you've got the attendant there telling you what to do, you're trying to put it in neutral, you're trying to make sure you're straight on the belt, um, you're probably also looking at your phone right. yeah, while yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. this. Yeah. Um, so I just don't feel like I notice the video screen and then when I'm working here, um, you know, we have a video that runs through, put it in neutral, turn off your wipers, hands off the wheel, all sorts of things. Um, I feel like by the time um, a customer is having, you know, we realize they're having trouble putting it in neutral or yeah. they're not sure what to do, the video is already played through and then we're pulling out the hand sign or we're stopping the belt and having them rolled on the window. And I think some of that could be eliminated if we had a more traditional arch sign that we could just like motion to it and they could, you know, see that in their own time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fascinating because I think that the, the intent of the digital science is great, mm -hmm. right? But the, the execution of the thing and the, the reality of whether or not I, as a human being, <laughs> can follow those instructions at the exact time yeah. that I'm going to follow them is not very good. Yes. Um, maybe someday. Maybe, maybe. someday. <laughs> but I, you know what I, I really like is is having the people there because I think that um, as a as a human being, right? Like you notice when somebody's like moving their yeah. arms, they're telling you they're yeah. telling you what to do, they're pointing. You notice that. But when it's all flat and it's all just distraction, yeah. you're going to miss it. I think. Um, okay, so let's talk. Uh, I don't. I don't hate digital science, by the way, friends. <laughs> digital signs are fun. Uh, I think that um, we've got some room to ed educate the customers on it. Mm -hmm. I think it is going to be the problem, um, and especially when you've got a new express in a market yeah. where there aren't expresses. <laughs> there's a lot to educate. There's on. a lot going yeah, on. Yeah. Let's just do one thing at a time. Um, okay. So we talked about that. We talked about the ability for um, the belts to kind of open it up for you. I want to come back to kind of corporate experience and coming into mm -hmm. this industry. When you started um, pulling all the pieces together to, uh -huh. to get into this space, and you started networking with other car wash owners and operators and, the, and folks on the vendor supplier side, what did you, what did you think? Did you feel like it was like a good community to be part of? What, where do you stand yeah. there? Um, I mean, I think the car wash community is amazing, and they've been amazing to me. Um, everyone was willing to spend a little bit of time talking to me yeah. and i just it, you know so much generosity exists out there between you know vendors and other operators and you know you're starting on the business like you don't know anything and you're asking questions that i you know think back and i'm like man <laughs> i was dumb <laughs> but you know everyone was patient with me and you know excited about you know my part in the journey and you know where i was and you know talked to me about how fun it was and you know let me know how you're doing and those are relationships that i've been able to cultivate and grow you know through the time that i've been in operation and then i have new operators coming to me asking me those same questions and i always because you know everyone's so generous to me feel very strongly about paying it forward you know like come down and see the operation or you know like let's spend some time talking on the phone and i'll give you my thoughts yeah i think it i think it really is special and i don't think you see it in many other industries like mm -hmm. that um, but it, it, it makes all the difference in the world in terms of being able to bring people like you into the industry mm -hmm 
for people who are in the industry to get great and innovative yes. ideas and to keep us going forward. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. So then, Jessica, <laughs> because uh, you teed me up so nicely for this, I like to ask people, what's one thing I can do today to be better tomorrow? So I'm going to ramble for like two seconds so okay. you can think about that and what you want to say. Mm -hmm. But if you're, a, uh, if you're maybe a new car wash owner operator, maybe you've been in the industry for a while, in your first couple of years here, what have you learned? What's one thing that I can do today to be better mm -hmm. tomorrow? You know, I think it all comes down to your customers, right? If you don't have your customers, you don't have a business. And so for me, even we opened in February 2020. It was a yeah. very challenging time. Um, we didn't have as much volume coming here year one that I thought we would because everyone was at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and so I spent that time when we had lower volume out there in the vacuum lot, out here at the pay stations, getting to know my customers. Yeah. And you know, I don't think it's unique to the South Metro, although I think we've got the best customers ever. <laughs> um, people want to, you know, see a, a local business succeed. Um, they want to know that, you know, the owner or the manager is out there and they care about the business. They want to be able to put, you know, a face on the business and have that personal touch. And so that's been a real gift to me is to, you know, spend time at the wash and know the folks that are coming through and know a little bit about their story that I can connect with them. Yeah, I love that because at the end of the day, if I'm a customer in this market, I don't want that to be my wash. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we're striving for. I love that. I love that. Well, uh, friends, if you're watching, uh, thank you so much to Jessica for taking the time to share a little bit of your story with us. We're going to give you guys a tour. Uh, we're going to uh, maybe do some beautiful drone footage of this location and show you some of the wash process. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Driving cars on the Mars tonight We're passing up to the stars tonight We wanna go, go We wanna go, go Tonight, we're passing up to the stars tonight.